Approved Home Pros, connecting you to today's trends, easy upgrades, and the tips, advice, and answers you need for your home, featuring trusted local experts and San Diego's best home pros, guaranteed. Now, Approved Home Pros. Welcome to Approved Home Pros, San Diego's resource for everything home improvement. I'm Jordan Frazier. And I'm Sean Johnson. Sean, how safe are you feeling today? We've got a lot of safety and guidance coming up on the show. Yeah, I think I'm going to feel even safer after the show because there are a lot of experts talking about different ways to stay safe and to be um, guided through the process of choosing different things, which is a, a safety factor. Which, of course, is always what we're doing for you here at Approved Home Pros. We are the safe choice when it comes to helping you find whatever you need for your home. Absolutely, because all of the pros you're going to see today are part of our network and they've all been screened and vetted so that you know that they are the best in the business and they're going to be here today to help you navigate the process of home improvement. Absolutely. We're talking about everything from preventing stolen packages to how to keep your home safe with home security. We're finding the best solar installers out there because you have to know who to trust, which of course all just comes back to the goodies that we offer here at Approved Home Pros. Absolutely. Just about any topic you can possibly want to cover, any trade you could possibly need, we can find it for you. If we don't have it listed on ApprovedHomePros.com, we'll track it down. Absolutely. And right now it's time for the quick tip of the week. Hi, Bob Riley here, We Care Plumbing, Heating and Air. Our tip of the day, maintenance on our hot water heater. Whether you have a tank or a tankless, they both need to be maintained. Our water is so hard that the, starts, the calcium will start to build up inside and actually start eating and corroding your tank. So give us a call, we'll come out and do a professional flush for you. Home security can be overwhelming. Do you even know where to start? Richard Mates from Night Security is here with some of the top security concerns. I'm excited to dig into this today. Thanks for joining me. You're absolutely welcome. What is the number one reason people call you to get a home security system? Well, they come at it from a lot of different angles, but it all boils down to one thing peace of mind. People want to be secure and comfortable in their own home. Absolutely. Everyone deserves to have that feeling. Absolutely. So I, I can yeah. resonate 100%. You, of course, are the security provider for my home as well. So right. I have that peace of mind every day. Exactly. And I love that. Good. What drives people to get to that point? Do we well, think? you hear, you know, and I hear it every day. There's been break-ins in my neighborhood. I'm concerned. I'm starting to travel more and I'm a little concerned about the wife and the kids home alone. My children are now coming home from school by themselves. I'd like them to come into a secure home. Um, these are the things I hear consistently, or people that hear noises at night. <laughs> they said, you know, and I've always told people, it is so reassuring when you hear a noise at night to know it didn't come from outside because the alarm's on. And that exactly. is a very reassuring thing. Uh, feeling, which I know you probably have. I have it all the time, especially yeah. being in an older home. My yeah. home creaks all creak, the time. Creak. And it's good to know that it's just the house settling. That's right, exactly. When we look around the home, what are the areas that we should be looking at when it comes to security? Okay. The first thing I look at is pathway and and the master bedroom. Pathway okay. to the mat, because that's where most residential burglaries happen. It's where the most valuable things in the home are, women's jewelry, gun collections, men's jewelry. They go to the master bedroom. So we always want to protect the master bedroom and the pathway that would lead a burglar to that area. Including the points of entry, so what do we consider there? Okay, well you want accessible doors and windows. You know, don't leave doors and windows unlocked or open during the day where you're gone because you're inviting a burglar into your home. And they're always going to start kind of near the back or something that's off the street, right? Exactly. If they're looking for a place to break in, break a window, they're going to take a concealed window or door that somebody won't see and to gain entry. Exactly right. So you want to get a security system among some other tips to keep your home more secure. Of course, night security can help with that. It's an, as easy as a consultation. It's very simple and easy, and you will get that peace of mind that we've been talking about. And it's very, very affordable and easy to do. And it's so easy to get started. Get more security advice and peace of mind with a security system from Night Security. Call them today at 619-797-6603. I'm in a beautiful home here in Carmel Mountain Ranch with Michael, a gentleman that does about as much research when he's hiring a contractor as Approved Home Pros does. Michael, you're having solar and roofing done with some power by Milholland. What made you look at solar? What were the problems you were trying to solve? So with the solar, with the continuing price of electricity going up and knowing that I wanted to get at least a couple electric cars in the future, I wanted to look to see what was my option by using solar and how I could cut down my electricity bills. So that's a very common uh, uh, theme for people is that they know that prices are going up. You know, you had a set of criteria that you had and, and you came to look at, at a, 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 a small group of companies, correct? Yes, I looked at three companies. Uh, my research, like you said, I do do a lot of receipts. I looked at the web, I looked at the contracting license board, I looked at the Better Business Bureau to look and see, okay, which companies do I want to have come out and give me a quote? So I did that, you know, and then one day I was down getting a haircut. 
I walked out of the store and I looked over and I saw this and it said, Sun Power by Milholland. Their showroom. Their showroom. And I thought, this is awesome. So I came home, I got my wife and said, hey, honey, let's go. We got to go down. I want to go see what the showroom has. So we go down, we go into the showroom. We met Oscar. He took us through everything. Uh, we got to see, actually physically see what was going to go up on our roof. And we got to talk about that with Oscar. Was that a big difference maker to be able to see, feel, and touch the, the, the panels and, and the roofing materials? Oh, yes. You know, to look at brochures, it's very hard to know what's going to go on your roof. To be able to say, hey, this is the right color, or this is what you can get, it was made a big difference to be actually to go into the showroom. Now, what were the things that set some part of Mill Hall apart that made you choose them? Oh, communication, collaboration, uh, the rapport I built with their staff, um, Oscar built a good rapport with him. You know, and for me and my wife, communication is the biggest thing and the company their self. So in my research that I did with the company, everything that they did, all the feedback was all very much positive. And it is a family owned company and they've been in business for a long time. So I want to know that they're there whenever I have problems. So you'd recommend them to be somebody looking at solar? Oh, I would definitely rec recommend Mill Holland for anybody that's looking for solar. Thank you so much, Michael. It's great to know that all the research that Michael did came up with the same end result we did, which is recommending Sun Power by Mill Holland. You can find them and all the other great pros at ApprovedHomePros.com. In San Diego, we want to take as much advantage of the views as we can. So today I've come to Best Value Glass, where I'm learning all about moving wall systems. Here with Steve Welsh. Thank you so much for having me today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So Glad what are these moving walls? Have. So the, the moving walls can create open space. And uh, there's, we have a lot of different materials we can do it in. We actually have a vinyl one here, which is very energy efficient. Yeah. And it'll, it'll match your vinyl windows if you have vinyl windows. Wow. So it's really a whole, takes up a whole wall of your home if you want it to. Right. And it's different panels I can see. Let's show them how to close it. You can do up to 20 panels and different colors up and different materials. Up to 20 materials. panels. And it moves with ease. And then there's a real door, just a traditional what we think of as a regular door to go in and out of the home, on one of the ends? On one of the ends, and you can put it on either end. And this way you can go through um, with, you know, having this shut and just going to do errands through into the backyard. So it leaves you with a lot of options. A lot of options. And we can go up to 60 feet, but what about the materials that it can be made of? So we can, and you can see how easy these roll. Absolutely. Um, so we can do these in uh, aluminum. And we can do aluminum on the outside and wood on the inside. And we can do all wood and we can do vinyl. So these little samples I see here are basically cross sections of one of these panels so that we can see what's on the outside and what's on the inside. And the, the, the colors are endless. The, uh, we can powder coat just about any color in, for the aluminum. How does Best Value Glass help someone choose the right wall for their home? This is a, a pretty big space they're taking up. It's a big, we can, you know, we can customize it however they want. We can all actually do a pocket wall where all the, gets rid of the frame. So the panels will be hidden inside They'll a wall. They'll be hidden inside. Wow. And we can do a multi-slide also where um, it opens up and you can slide them over. And so just instead have of an folding opening, like this one does, instead of folding. it would slide next to each other. Th this is the most popular, the folding's most popular uh, because it really opens up your space. Uh, it is really a fantastic system. You said it can go up to 60 feet. 60 feet. What about screens? So you can put a screen on these. Uh, when you get real big, you have to be careful, but again, we can customize them. Thanks, Steve. And that's why you want to go to approvedhomepros.com slash best value glass and learn all about these La Cantina doors and the movable wall systems. That's approvedhomepros.com. After you remodel your pool, it's important to give it the proper care and maintenance to protect the longevity of your investment. Mark from Gardner Outdoor and Pool Remodeling is here to help us with those maintenance tips. What are the things that you do after the remodel is complete, the first steps? The first step is a startup. And a startup is the most critical step after putting a new finish into a pool. It includes cleaning the filter, vacuuming out the dust from the pool water that was entered from the new finish, balancing your water chemistry, and brushing the floor and walls of the pool. Now that dust is, is a critical component here that we're talking about. So when you do that startup process, why are you getting the dust out? Because if you don't, that dust will settle on the walls and floors of the pool and stick permanently, and it becomes feeling like sandpaper. Is there a critical window to be able to, to do all these things with the startup that you're talking about? You should be doing this within the first week after the plastering is done. 
Okay. And, and this is something that you at Gardner will take care of for the, for the uh, homeowner after they've had the remodel. You handle the startup. Yes, we'll handle the startup, but we stop after three times, and then the homeowner has to take over. Yeah, and after you stop, what's the homeowner's responsibility? What are the smart things to do for your pool maintenance after, after that? They should be brushing at least once or twice a day, as well as checking their water chemistry and keeping it in balance. And when, when the brushing, is it for the same purpose to keep that dust off the wall so there's some of it still in the pool? Right. A little bit of remnant will stay in the pool. You just have to be diligent for just a few more weeks. How many weeks is that? How, how long are we talking about having to do that brushing on a daily basis? Just three more weeks after the startup. Okay, three more weeks. Right. Uh, after that point, what are the, the things that somebody should really be keeping in mind to maintain their pool and, and protect their investment? Well, first of all, during that startup and the three weeks, you should not run the pool cleaner because it will leave tracks on the new finish because it's still soft. So the ones on the wheels, you don't, don't run that at all? You don't want to run that at all. You can, however, after startup, start your uh, heater. If you want to heat up your spa, you can do that. And you can use your pool. And after the three weeks, then you just maintain your water chemistry and br uh, brush occasionally and keep your pool in balance. So, you, But you can use it right immediately after the remodel. So as soon as the water's in there and you guys are do you're done with your initial startup, you, you can, can use, use your pool. pool, absolutely. That's a great thing. I'm sure people want to get in there, enjoy the pool, and really have a good time with right. it. And this is a big investment that people are making. It's very important to protect that investment. If you're ready for your remodel, get started with Gardner today. You can find them at, at approvedhomepros.com or 619-431-2002. Again, that's approvedhomepros.com slash Gardner Remodel. Only Approved Home Pros gives you the expert advantage you need when navigating the world of home improvement. Our network is a team of the most trusted and highly respected local home improvement experts. Expert reviews, advice, and answers have given thousands of homeowners like you the confidence that comes from having a team of professionals behind you. Like a friend in the business, we're here to protect your home and family by making it easy to find and connect with San Diego's best pros at ApprovedHomePros.com. There's just no comfort like a nice plush carpet. Today, Nick Dixon from Contract Carpet is here to teach us how to choose that right luxury carpet. Nick, thanks for coming in today. Absolutely, thanks for having me. So, to me, there was a long time where luxury was synonymous with hardwood floors, but there are some wonderful luxury carpets on the market today. Absolutely, there's a ton of them. So, what are some ways that we can determine what is a luxury carpet versus a lesser carpet? Um, you know, the thickness, the amount of fiber, the type of fiber, all super important factors. So, let's talk about and use these as an example. So, to me, this top one here is very plush. Very nice and luscious. Really dig your fingers into it. So, Feels good. So this is one that would be uh, the thickest uh, uh, version. Mm -hmm. And underneath this, we have a couple of other layers where we have kind of a medium thickness. Yep, kind of and, middle of the grade. And then we have a thinner carpet, which might be what you'd use in a rental property yeah. or something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you get up to these these um, thicker ones, you mentioned it, that get out of, uh, get out of bed, put your put your toes into it, warm. That's some of the benefits of a luxury. Absolutely, carpet. yeah. People like to roll out of bed and feel comfy. So where are the places besides the bedroom that, that they're often used? Stairwells? Uh, stairs, upstairs. You know, it's a little bit more affordable on a staircase than a hard surface floor is. Now, besides the thickness of the carpet and the plush factor, what are some other things that go into a luxury carpet versus a lesser carpet? Um, the type of fiber is super important. So there are wool products out there that are very durable, not quite as cleanable. Uh, nylon products like this that are very cleanable and very durable. Mm -hmm. And they feel great to your fingers? Yeah, they feel good. Uh, there are also polyesters that are super cleanable, not super durable. Okay. So they've all got their place in the market. Just depends on what you need out of your floor. So it depends on, on your specific home, your family, what your needs are. And will you consult with somebody to help find them the right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's what it's all about. I don't want to sell somebody a floor that's not going to work for their specific situation. Are there any buzzwords or things out there that, that get people confused when they're shopping at other carpet, carpet stores or, or, or flooring stores? Yeah, I'd say a lot of... You know, the big box stores try to throw out you face weight or ounce weight. What is that? That's the amount of fiber like within a square inch. Um, so just this little part right here. And, you know, some people think more is better, but it just depends on what better is to you. If you want it to be thick and comfy and cozy, yeah, more is probably better. But if you want it to be more durable, maybe a little bit less, a little bit skinnier, less room to mat down is more important. So again, it goes back to the consultation, having the right carpet for you and your exactly. family. Thanks so much. And, and Contract Carpet will always guide you to the right carpet. So if you need carpet or flooring of any kind, visit Contract Carpet in Carmel Mountain Ranch or Encinitas, and you can find them, as always, on ApprovedHomePros.com. 
When it comes to finishing the exterior of your house for curb appeal, don't forget the impact that the garage door can have. So today I've come to a job site with Empire Garage Door and Gate here with Jared, where we're watching a beautiful door behind us get installed. They're actually currently working on it right now. Let's talk about overall in general, especially in Southern California, how much impact this can have. This door is beautiful. The garage door is the, is the biggest face of a house. So the curb appeal of selecting the appropriate garage door that fits the core of your home is real important. And yeah. uh, these particular garage doors, we have been putting a lot of them in and a lot of restaurants. The modern choices have uh, come up in architecture quite a bit lately. And they're stunning when you drive by a neighborhood and you have these modern doors or even just a, a beautiful clean door that matches the aesthetic of a house. It makes such a difference for your curb appeal, you know, in San Diego especially. Most garages are street facing. Absolutely. Jared, tell me about this door. Uh, so this garage door is a very popular door. It's a modern series door. It comes in a variety of colors. Uh, some of the standard colors that are very popular are black, white, and also the aluminum color. But they also uh, can be made with uh, multiple colors, can be powder coated to match any color that you're looking for. And the glass has options as well. Absolutely. The, the glass, this particular glass is an obscure glass. You, as you notice, it's sort of translucent, uh, a little more than the frosted glass or the uh, white laminate glass. So you have levels of privacy that you can attain based on on what your preference is. Yes, yes. So there's also about how it gets installed. That's another really important part when you're choosing the garage door. It has less to do with curb appeal and more about function, but they all go together if you're getting a new door. You want to make sure it's functioning how you want it. This one has a bit of a special installation where the motor's on the side. What does that mean? Well, on this application, the motor is not traditionally mounted in the center of the garage. Uh, it's actually mounted off to the side, which allows you to have more headroom above the garage door. And is that an option that's available with every type of door? 90% of, uh, of garage doors can take this type of uh, motor, but uh, the one-piece tilt-up doors, it would not work on those. They still have to use the traditional center-mounted motors. And of course, the important part is knowing that the experts at Empire Garage Door and Gate are there to help you make the right selections for your home, make your home have the most curb appeal it possibly can with a beautiful garage door. Get in touch with Empire today. Find them on ApprovedHomePros.com. Be safe, be sure, be confident about the home improvement companies you work with with the Approved Home Pros Guarantee. Only Approved Home Pros guarantees you will be satisfied with your home improvement, repair, or service, or we'll step in to help make it right. If you need help, our team of experts is behind you every step of the way when you use a pro in the Approved Home Pros Network. Move forward with confidence knowing you're never in this alone. Find a pro today at ApprovedHomePros.com. It's guaranteed. It's time to ask an expert where we answer everyday questions to help you better understand your home and the home improvement industry. Today I'm with Richard from Night Security and as normal, Greg Cantor from Murray Lampert Design Build Remodel, our resident expert. And Richard, thanks for sticking around and, and covering this important topic with sure. us. We're talking about holidays and gifts being stolen uh, that are delivered to your home, or to Amazon largely. How, how widespread of a problem is this? This is a huge problem. Uh, the police are aware, neighbors, every neighborhood's aware because it's happened in every neighborhood. It's happening all the time. It happens all over the place. Have it ever happened to you? Fortunately, not. I'm a little bit off the street and I've been very lucky, but it could happen. Yeah, it yeah. happens, it no happens all, all the time. Greg, how about you? It hasn't happened to me, but we usually have somebody home and we're on it. You know, you get that message that the package is delivered and we grab it. But I think having packages delivered to businesses is your safe bet. That is, that is a great solution. I, I'm one that has had a package stolen. It's a terribly frustrating feeling. You're waiting for that gift to come and it's, it's intended for somebody, and especially last minute, and, and it's hard to replace. So the solutions, let's get to those because that, that is that's the most important thing. You mentioned, Greg, having it delivered to a place of business. Richard, in your opinion, is that a good solution? Well, I think it's the absolute best solution. If your employer will allow you to have the packages delivered there, they're safe, pick them up, and I think it's a great service for a business to offer to all its people. Well, it's better to have someone there accepting it, mm -hmm. and if, if the office is closed, then so it gets delivered the next day, no big deal. Exactly. Right, and I think most businesses will allow, or a lot of businesses will allow this. I know we will, Greg, your company will, I'm sure you sure. will. Um, next, to, next to that, what's the next best option? Do you think the, those postal service, um, postal, postal box services are a good um, Absolutely option? Absolutely a great option, especially at the holidays when there's a lot of packages in pres and values up. It's a great option other than just setting yourself up by putting it on the front door. Because even putting it on the front door, cameras are not going to help you. They just get a good picture of whoever stole your stuff. It can be, it can be frustrating that way. Yeah. And great, there's also Amazon offers a service called Amazon Hub Lockers where you can have them delivered to those lockers. And I think especially because more and more people are ordering online, that's an excellent solution. So the bottom line is just don't have it delivered to your front, do front stoop and leave it there and hope that you get home in time to get it because somebody else is going to get your stuff. Exactly right. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. Thanks for the advice. 
If you have questions for our experts or want to see more information on previous questions, visit ApprovedHomeBros.com in our Ask an Expert section. In San Diego, to take advantage of our great weather, one of the most important pieces of furniture you're going to purchase might be your outdoor patio set. So I'm here today at More Furniture for Less in Miramar with Josh Tomlinson, the general manager. Thanks for having me out today. Thank you for coming. Appreciate Let's it. talk about our options when it comes to patio furniture. We're at a beautiful, very comfortable set right now. One of my favorites for sure, because I'm all about the casual living. So for me, this is a nice uh, propane powered patio set that you can you can store your tank inside, which is really nice. You don't have yes. to haul it in and out. No so, eyesores. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, but you can transform this into a tabletop, too. So it has a lid that covers the, the actual fireplace unit for protection. And you could eat here if you wanted to. The chairs are very nice. We also have dining, full-on dining sets that if you want that full space, that table and six chair, you know, six-person seating, you have that option. Or just seating areas in general. So you could have a sectional with a nice sofa or chairs or whatnot. So we have the full full selection. And how do we choose what's best for our space maybe? Does it all just come down to dimensions and size? Pretty much dimensions and also lifestyle. Just ask yourself what you're going to get the most use out of. If it's it maybe your dining set in your house is kind of smaller and you want to you have a bigger patio space, you might go, "Hey, I want a dining set out there so we can have full family dinners outside." which we're very fortunate and blessed that we can, Absolutely. We can take advantage of that here. So that might be a good And option. so much of it about, it seems to be about versatility. You mentioned this table, you know, it's obviously right now a beautiful fire pit, but right. there's a cover that goes right over this. It can transform into a table. Yeah. And so that casual element, but even some of these sofas are sectionals. There's mm -hmm. you know, modular pieces. So let's talk a bit about the versatility that we have options here. You just said it, there, there's modular options so you can cater some of the sectionals to your space, uh, which is a huge option. Also with durability, I want to mention that briefly. Just. Uh, Aluminum frames aren't going to rust. That's a big deal. And Great. then some of the fabric options for pillows or cushions, rather, are going to be Sunbrella, which is a big brand name in the industry, notorious for UV resistance. So they're not going to fade as easily. And of course, that's one yeah. of the biggest dangers we're going to face: is it UV is. fading of your furniture yeah. to weather. You know, our weather is pretty light, so yeah. hardly rain damage. But what do you recommend for storage? How do we how do we best take care of these items when they live outside all year long? If you have the space, I'd say store them if you can. If not, get a cover or even a makeshift shade like an umbrella. We have a full selection of umbrellas. Uh, one in particular is very big. It's a nine foot umbrella that's on a one hand operation retraction. So it's it's really, really so nice. So that's helpful both for keeping, protecting your pieces, but also great for enjoyment. So you're gonna love yes, using that all year long. Very much so. So there are four more furniture for less locations around San Diego to cater to your needs. You can find them all at approvedhomepros.com. Hi, this is Richard Mates from Night Security, and this is Safe at Home. Some insights into protecting your home and your family from a burglary. And I want to give you a moment's insight into how a residential burglary happens. Normally, it's 9 o'clock in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon. You're at work, the wife's at, at work, kids are at school. A burglar will find a way into your home. And what do they do when they break in? They usually go directly to the master bedroom. That's where most of us store our most valuable things. Your wife's jewelry is right there on the, on the dresser, and your guns, coin collections, or other valuables are in the closet. And they know this, and they will go to those areas. They'll take the, the mattress off your bed because people put envelopes under the mattress thinking they're safe. They're not. The master bedroom is the target. And if you have questions on this or any other topic in security, give me a call at 619-797-6603. I'd be happy to try to help you. Thank you. When it comes to roofing, we all know how important it is to have a high quality installation, but how do you know the skills of one roofer to the next if you yourself are not an expert? So I'm here today with Caesar from Howard & Sons who's here to help me through this. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. This is a really important topic because I know that I'm never gonna get on the roof and inspect the work myself, nor would I know what to look for if I was. So it's important that I trust my roofer. How does Howard & Sons go about building trust with homeowners? Absolutely, trust is a big factor. After all, we are working on your roof, on your home. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, one of the things that I highly recommend, besides the obvious of insurance, bond, licenses, things of that nature, uh, another way to build trust is to look over the company's reviews. Uh, look at previous work done, completed, and um, make sure you feel comfortable with that person and trust them before you proceed on. Absolutely, and you know, things early in the process would be timeliness and responsiveness. So we wanna make sure that the company were doing business with is you know treating us with respect and, and treating us well of course 
uh, timeliness, responsiveness, you know, if they answer your phone calls, you know, those are all very important things. Nobody likes to be left, you know, out in the, in the dark, so. It's a great way to build trust, so that's really exciting. Another thing is to ch kind of check up on the skills. So like you said, do reviews and, and check up what other people have said about the work being done, but also manufacturer certifications, because that's a big part of, of what you guys can do as well. Absolutely, so every manufacturer has their own specific set of installation instructions. Uh, they also offer uh, certain classes for us to actually attend, pull the guys off the field and sit down in front of a classroom and, or in a classroom in front of an instructor that tells them exactly how they need to install their product. And that's one of the things that we like to do is create that partnership with the, to, with the manufacturers. That's great. So you guys take advantage of all of those certifications available to you at Howard & Sons. Of course. Uh, above all, safety is the number one concern. Uh, safety classes are all, is also something that we like to uh, explore you know, classes as well and maintain, uh, stay up on that as well. Well, that's fantastic. So let's talk a little bit about how warranty plays into this because once you've done those manufacturer certifications, that manufacturer is now actually standing behind you as a company and saying, yes, Howard & Sons can go ahead and extend our warranty. Is that right? That's correct. So with those certifications, it allows us to give that much more of an extended warranty uh, because we do have the manufacturer standing behind us. All great things that you should be looking for if you are getting your roof done. You can always turn to Howard & Sons for all of your roofing needs. Call them today at 619-343-2228 or find them at approvedhomepros.com slash Howard. In new construction and remodeling, LED lighting has been the replacement for old-fashioned incandescent fixtures for a long time. Not only do LEDs meet Title 24 energy requirements, they last up to 20 years with no maintenance necessary and they emit much less heat, making your home cooler in the summertime. Recent studies have posed concerns that LED lighting can cause eye damage and even disrupt circadian rhythms, which affect sleep. There are so many good reasons to use LED because of energy savings, the superior light quality and lifespan, but is it safe in your home? The answer is yes. Just make sure you follow this advice. Kelvins are the measurement of color in LEDs. I recommend LEDs that are 3,000 kelvins or less, which is comparable to standard halogen or incandescent lights. At this safe range, you can choose soft white or warm white colors and avoid blue where there may be potential health risks. Approved Home Pros offers you free and easy access to expert reviews of San Diego's best home improvement professionals. Our in-depth screening, research, and reviews are conducted by experienced and trusted experts who are members of the local community with knowledge of local codes and common issues. Find San Diego pros and expert tips, advice, and answers on ApprovedHomePros.com. Thank you so much to all of our experts for joining us today. Sean, what did you learn? I learned a lot talking to Mark from Gardner about pool remodeling. He's such a knowledgeable person, like all of our pros are, but really I learned a lot from your interview with Howard and Sons. Yes, knowing, getting to know your contractors, to know exactly where their expertise comes from and learning how to know that the people you're working with are actually experts in their trades is just such a complicated part of do, taking on home improvements. It's so great that we're able to kind of do that for homeowners and share that with them on our shows. Yeah, that's really I think our main service that we offer is having done all that back that legwork that it takes to find the right contractor, screen and vet them and have confidence going in. So you use one of our pros, you can have confidence. And, and I think you can see that in the shows. Absolutely, and of course we cover every aspect of home improvement today. It was everything from roofing to the pool care after remodeling, all the way through home security and stolen packages and tips on how to avoid that. Yeah, absolutely. I had a package stolen a couple of years ago and it's such a frustrating experience. It absolutely is. I actually had one stolen just a couple of weeks ago, unfortunately. Oh my Thankfully gosh. it was of very low value and it, it, it all kind of came out in the wash, but. Uh, I blame you for not scheduling this, this segment earlier. I absolutely should have. So whatever it is you need for your home, search quickly and easily on ApprovedHomePros.com. Thank you for joining the Approved Home Pro Show. To connect with the show or find the very best home improvement companies in San Diego, log on to ApprovedHomePros.com or call 855-840-APRO. See you soon.